So today I'm talking about a P2111 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2111 code? Well, it's a throttle actuator A control system stuck open. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a throttle body on fuel injected vehicles that controls all the air going into the engine. And it does this by using this butterfly plate that every time the gas pedal is pushed, this small plate is going to open up, it's going to let more air in, and then the computer can let more gas go into the engine, which is going to give everything more power. And this throttle actuator control is going to have several components. It's going to have a little DC motor located on the throttle body that's controlling that little butterfly plate that opens and closes it as needed. It's also going to have a wiring harness running around going back to a computer. And the computer could be a dedicated computer, like a TAC module, or it could be controlled by the engine control module or the powertrain control module. So it could vary which computer is controlling it. But basically, this computer controlling this small motor, and every time the pedal's pushed, this computer is going to tell that little small motor to open up that butterfly plate and let more air go into the engine. And when you get a P2111 code, something's gone wrong inside of this system, and there's some kind of issue going on, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And one thing to note about these throttle bodies is that if they're replaced, sometimes they have what's called a relearn procedure. Procedure, which can vary. It could depend on the vehicle, the year, the manufacturer, different things like this. Sometimes it's something simple, like you put the key into the on position, you step on the gas pedal slowly, and then let off. Other times you just need to drive around, and the vehicle automatically relearn. And if you have a good OBD2 scan tool, sometimes they have an option in there to do an automatic relearn. And then other vehicles, it doesn't really matter. You replace it, and it'll automatically just start running good. So it can vary a little bit. But if you do replace that throttle body, and it doesn't run good right after you replace it check to see if your particular vehicle has what's called a throttle relearn procedure and so what would be some possible causes of a p2111 code well the first thing that can cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the wiring going to the throttle body if there's any kind of wiring problem like an open a short or one of these pins inside of here are not making a good connection then that's going to cause problems and so check out your wiring be sure everything looks like it's plugged in good none of these pins look like they're loose or anything like that you can try to reseat the connections and things like this, but basically just check out that wiring. Be sure that nothing looks like it's damaged or anything like this going on. It's because the first thing that could cause this is something's going on inside the wiring. The next thing on the list is going to be a dirty throttle body. And if you can look inside that throttle body and it looks really super dirty, then that's a common problem with these throttle bodies is that they basically just get dirty and they just need to be cleaned up. If it does look dirty, you can get some throttle body air intake cleaner. And basically, you just spray down inside of there. You can use like a rag or a small toothbrush and things along these lines and just clean it up real good. And that very commonly solves a lot of issues with throttle bodies. One thing to mention is that if you do clean it up with throttle body cleaner, when you first start up the engine, it might run kind of badly for like 30 seconds or a minute or so until all that throttle body cleaner is burnt away. But then after that, it should run better. It's also possible that this throttle body has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. If this butterfly plate's not opening up correctly, or if there's some kind of issue going on inside of here with this DC motor, which also has like a lot of gears inside of it and things like this. If something's gone bad with this, then that's going to cause issues. And if that is the case, then the whole throttle body might just need to be replaced. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad throttle body. And the next thing on the list is going to be a bad throttle actuator control module. And it can vary on the vehicle if they do or do not have one of these, depending on the year and the manufacturer and things like this. Sometimes it's all controlled by the engine control module or the powertrain control module. But some vehicles do have a TAC module and if something goes wrong with it, then it's not going to be able to control that little motor and everything. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad TAC module if the vehicle has one. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad sensor, like a bad throttle position sensor or a bad pedal position sensor. Because if one of these goes bad, then it could throw everything off and it could cause issues. But usually when one of these goes bad, you're going to get another code. So for example, you might get like a P0122 code, throttle pedal position sensor, switch A, circuit low. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2111 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.